So the next thing that happened on Monday Night Raw, now we had Edge. He came out, and he came out with a new theme song. So yeah, he got rid of, uh, you know, his old theme song. And, uh, well, his new theme song, you know, in the beginning is where he talks, um, in the, in the, like, the beginning of the theme song, where he goes, like, well, you thought you know me, or whatever, and, uh, then it plays the song, uh, but yeah, he gets a new theme song, and I can't understand why they change it, but, man, I'm gonna really miss his old theme song now, like, the song was too damn good, <laughs> but yeah, they changed the theme song, and like I said, I understand, because like, when he will come out to the other song, uh, fans is gonna automatically cheer for him, like, they ain't gonna boo Mel, and this one, when he came out with it, um, they was booing the hell out of him, and he still gets that green, I mean, not the green, the freaking, uh, blue light, you know, that's shining down on him, uh, you know, uh, like how Sin Car used to have like how I was talking about from last week on Raw, he still gets that blue light and he comes out and uh, you know, he starts talking in the ring and he was talking about AJ Styles, how uh and he was talking about how he how he needed the best AJ Styles as possible to face at WrestleMania. And he said he done some changing as well. Uh like um like, you know, the old edge and stuff from two years ago. It's pretty much no more because that edge would never be AJ Styles at WrestleMania. Like, uh, you know, the happy go lucky edge or the one that pretty much was in the feud with Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns and all that. He said that edge is pretty much dead and how this new edge will go into WrestleMania and beat AJ Styles. That's what he was pretty much saying. And the fans was chatting him and he said, he said, oh, if I was y'all, I'd be begging for forgiveness. But I don't even care. Uh, that's what Edge was saying. Edge was pre cutting pretty good promo. So yeah, he was cutting pretty good promo. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's what happened. And uh, pretty much he's going to be judging AJ Styles at WrestleMania. That's what he was saying. But yep, that's what happened on Monday Night Raw. Pretty good promo from Edge. But like I said, I hate that he changes uh his uh old song now so yeah his old song of course will be always iconic it was great and everything just that song alone needs to go to the hall of fame that's what i got to say about that and speaking about the hall of fame which i didn't <laughs> i actually didn't remember this until i literally just said it uh freaking uh queen so queen charmel will be entering the hall of fame this year so yeah uh that was news from earlier and she'll be getting inducted by Booker T. So, yeah. Uh, she'll be the third person inducted into this year's Hall of Fame. So, yeah, great news right there. But, up next, we're going to see Bianca Belair versus Dewdrop on Raw up next. Because Bianca was cutting promo and stuff. Talking about how she has to see Becky in two weeks. Because she whipped her so hard with the hair. And now she can't talk. And so, it feels great for Monday Night Raw to be a little bit more peaceful. With Becky Lynch not around. But yeah, she says she's going to go beat Dewdrop. And she'll do the same thing to Dewdrop. Like how she'll be doing at WrestleMania. And will be taking away the Raw Women's Championship away from Becky Lynch. So yeah, that's what Bianca Belair says. So yeah, up next she'll be facing against Dewdrop on Raw. So yeah, I'll see you guys later until the next thing that happens on Monday Night Raw. See you guys later until then.